Um, like to thank the house for uh, taking time out to go over the uh, sheets with us. And I will uh, recognize Dylan. Dylan. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, uh, members of the conference committee. Uh, so everyone should have a copy of the conference comparison report. And just remind everyone, this is only items of differences between the two bills. They have been, re this document has been reorganized similar to the shorthand from the way you've seen it in previous years. It's sorted uh, by function of government and then by agency and then by year, but this way we keep each of the agencies together so you don't have to flip backwards and forwards throughout the document. So we've done it the same way we did the shorthand. Uh, let us know if that works for you. Uh, but if it is uh, the interest of the committee, we can do a read through uh, if that's what you'd like to do. And we could start this off. Uh, once again, uh, myself, Megan, and Steve, Stephen will share uh, the duties of reading through the document, if that's what you want. Is that okay with you guys? That is fine with us, yes. Okay, thank you. Go ahead, Dylan. All right, thank you very much. Uh, so, starting with Department of Agriculture, item one delete $100,000 SGF for the Local Farm to Food Initiative. The House deleted the funding, the Senate did not recommend deleting the funding. Uh, the second item is add language directing the agency to use $25,000 SGF for the emergency animal facilities investigation. The House added the language. The Senate did not consider adding the language. The third is add language directing the chief engineer to select an independent consultant to conduct evaluation of the operations of the Central Kansas Water Bank, including the potential impairment impacts involved with the use of safe deposit accounts and the Rattlesnake Creek Hydrologic Unit, and to submit the findings of the evaluation of the House Committee on Water and Senate Committee on Ag and Natural Resources. The House added language. The Senate did not. Department of Wildlife and Parks delete three FTE positions from the Ecological Services Program and add three FTE positions to the Parks Program. The House moved the FTE positions. The Senate did not. Uh, in 25, the same item with the House moving the positions and the Senate not. On the Department of Health and Environment, item 124, add language directing the agency to use $50,000 of state water plan fund to contract with the city of Topeka for the cleanup of trash along the banks of the Kansas River and the Shungananga Creek within the city limits of Topeka in 2024. The House added the language, the Senate did not. Item two is add language prohibiting the agency from using satellite imagery to identify confined animal feeding facilities in 24. House added the language, the Senate did not. Going to 25, one, delete 1.5 million SGF for small town infrastructure grants for 25. Uh, the Senate deleted the funding, the House did not. Uh, item two is add language directing the agency to use $50,000 state water plan fund. This is the same item as 24. The House added language, the Senate did not. And also uh, the same language as 24 on uh, confined animal feeding facilities. The House added the language, the Senate did not. For the Kansas State Fair Board, 24, add $300,000 SGF for additional lighting on the state fairgrounds at 24. Uh, the Senate added the funding, the House did not. Continuing the Kansas State Fair for fiscal year 24, the Senate added recommended adding 100,000 SGF for additional cameras for state fairgrounds. This amount was deleted from the fiscal year 25 budget. The House did not recommend adding the funding. In fiscal year 25, the Senate recommended deleting 300,000 SGF for additional lighting for the state fairgrounds for fiscal year 25. The um, House did not delete, did not recommend deleting the funding. The Senate recommended deleting 100,000 SGF for additional cameras for state fairgrounds for fiscal year 25, and the House did not recommend deleting that funding. The Kansas Water Office, fiscal year 24. The Senate recommended adding $1 million for the Water Project Grants Fund and increasing the transfer from the State Water Plan Fund by the same amount, fiscal year 24. The House did not consider adding the funding. For Board of Regents, fiscal year 24, the House recommended deleting 14.1 million SGF for needs-based aid scholarships in fiscal year 24. These funds were appropriated from fiscal year 24 to fiscal year 25. The Senate did not consider deleting the funding. The House uh, recommends adding language in fiscal year 24 that the Chief Executive Officer of the Board of Regents certify to the State Finance Council that all money from the Kansas Comprehensive Grant be distributed in the same proportionate amount as distributed in fiscal year 22. Upon certification of the State Finance Council will authorize expenditures totaling 14.1 million SGF to the Board of Regents for need-based funding. The Senate did not recommend adding the language. For fiscal year 25, Board of Regents, 
The House recommended adding 9.7 million SGF for Kansas Comprehensive Grants for fiscal year 25. The Senate recommended adding 5 million. The Senate recommended adding language directing all expenditures from the Kansas Comprehensive Grant be distributed with 50% to the state institutions, including Washburn University, and the remaining 50% for not, to not-for-profit independent institutions for fiscal year 25. The House did not consider adding the language. The House recommended adding 2.2 million SGF for the Kansas Osteopathic Scholarship in fiscal year 25. The Senate did not consider adding the funding. The House recommended adding language directing the Board of Regents to update the listing on federally recognized tribe names for the purposes of including all tribes for in-state tuition for fiscal year 25. The Senate did not recommend adding the language. The Senate recommended adding 1.7 million SGF for student success initiatives at community colleges for fiscal year 25. And the House did not recommend or did not consider adding the funding. The House recommended adding language that directs the Board of Regents to submit a report on findings of ethnic minority scholarship program regarding compliance with the Supreme Court ruling on, on students for fair admissions versus presidents and fellows at Harvard College for fiscal year 25 and to add language requiring that the agency submit a report to the House Committee on Higher Education Budget, House Committee on Appropriations, and Senate Committees on Ways and Means by January 24th, fiscal, uh, 2025. The Senate did not consider adding the language. The Senate recommends adding 15.8 million SGF for student success initiatives at community and technical colleges for fiscal year 25. The House did not consider adding the funding. The House recommends adding 270,000 SGF to Washburn Municipal Operating Grant for Dole, Dole Hall operating costs for fiscal year 25. The Senate did not consider adding the funding. The Senate recommends adding 250,000 SGF for the Animal Diagnostic Lab at KSU Veterinary Medical Center for fiscal year 25. The House did not recommend adding the funding. The Senate recommends adding 750,000 SGF for professional workforce development program at Fort Hayes State University. The House did not recommend adding the funding. The House recommends deleting 8.1 million SGF for Emporia State University Memorial Union Debt Enhancement Request from the Kansas Board of Regents for fiscal year 25. Uh, this is moving the funding to Emporia State. And the Senate did not recommend moving that funding from Board of Regents to Emporia State. Continuing with item number 12, the House recommends deleting 25 million SGF for Kansas State Ag Innovation Match from the Kansas Board of Regents budget and move that uh, funding over to Kansas State University. Uh, number 13, uh, the House did not recommend, my apologies. Number 13, the House recommends deleting 15.4 million SGF for the post-secondary operating grant to move to Fort Hayes State University's Western Kansas Workforce Development Enhancement Request. The Senate did not recommend moving the funding. Number 14, the House recommends deleting 2 million SGF from the post-secondary operating grant for the Pittsburgh State for the American Reading Facility Capital Improvements Enhancement Request for 25. The Senate did not uh, recommend moving the funding. Number 15, the House recommends uh, deleting 5 million SGF for the, from the post-secondary operating grant for Wichita State University's Affordability and Workforce Development Enhancement Request for 25 and move that funding over to Wichita State. The st uh, Senate did not recommend moving the funding. Number 16, the House recommends deleting 5 million SGF from the post-secondary operating grant for the University Waterwide Institute Enhancement Request for Kansas State for 25 and add language that the agency submit a report on its goals, accomplishments, and return on investments regarding the state interest in water quality to the legislature on or before January 12th of 26. Um, the uh, Senate did not recommend moving the funding. Number 17, the House recommends deleting 75 million SGF for the University of Kansas Medical Center Cancer Research Facility Enhancement Request from the Board of Regents and moving it over to the University of Kansas's budget. The Senate did not recommend moving the funding. Number 18, the House recommends deleting 4.6 million SGF for the Emporia State Student Housing Debt Enhancement Request from the uh, Kansas Board of Regents for 25. Uh, the, uh, excuse me, the Senate did not recommend moving the funding. Uh, number 19, the House recommends deleting 2.2 million SGF from the post-secondary operating grant for the National Bio and Agro Defense Facility Research Enhan Enhancement Request for Kansas State for 25. Um, the Senate recommends moving it to the Kansas State University budget. The, uh, the House recommends moving it to the Kansas State University budget. The Senate does not recommend moving that funding. Um, number 20, the House recommends deleting $250,000 of SGF from the post-secondary operating grant for the Fort Hayes State University Telehealth, Telehealth Certification Enhancement Request for 25 and to move that funding over to Fort Hayes State University. The Senate does not recommend moving the funding. Number 21, the House recommends deleting $10 million SGF for uh, demolition funds in fiscal year 25. The Senate does not recommend deleting that funding. 
Number uh, 22, the Senate recommends the lead 9.2 million SGF from the non-tiered course credit account for fiscal year 25. The House does not uh, did not consider deleting that funding. Number 23, the Senate recommends deleting 6.6 .6 million SGF from the post-secondary tiered technical education amount for 25. The House did not consider deleting that funding. Number 24, the House recommends deleting 7 billion SGF for the utility contract increase enhancement request for fiscal year 25. The Senate did not recommend deleting the funding. Number 25, the House recommends deleting 20 million SGF for the state capital renewal fund for fiscal year 25. The Senate does not recommend deleting that funding. Number 26, the House recommends deleting $209,000 of SGF for the Board of Regents support staff, as well as to delete two, uh, two FTE positions for fiscal year 25. The House, uh, excuse me, the Senate does not recommend deleting the funding or the FTE. Uh, fiscal year 26, number one, the Senate recommends uh, adding $750,000 of SGF for the Professional Workforce Development Program at Fort Hayes State University for fiscal year 26. Uh, the House does not recommend adding the funding. Number two, both House and Senate recommend adding funding for the Kansas Comprehensive Grant in fiscal year 26. The House recommends adding $9.7 million from the SGF, whereas the Senate recommends adding $5 million also from the SGF. Moving on to the Kansas State Department of Education for fiscal year 24. Um, number one, the House recommends deleting $6.7 billion, including $4.6 billion SGF and 267.9 FTE positions to remove the Kansas State Department of Education's budget from the uh, HB 2802 and to insert that budget into House sub for SB 387 in fiscal year 24. The Senate does not uh, did not consider removing the budget. Number two, the Senate recommends adding language directing the agency to contract with any mental uh, health providers for the mental health intervention team pilot program and prohibiting contracting exclusively with community mental health centers in fiscal year 24. The House did not consider adding the language. For fiscal year 25, number one, the House recommends deleting 6.6 .6 billion, including 5 billion SGF and 267.9 FTE positions to move the Kansas State Department of Education's budget over to SB, House sub for SB 387-425. The Senate did not consider moving the budget. Moving to page four. Item two, delete 114.8 million, including 208.2 million SGF to remove and review anonymous all enhancement requests on K-12 education budget recommended by the governor for 25, with the exception of the fall 23 consensus estimates. Uh, the Dane G. Hansen Public-Private Partnership with the Incentives for Specialty Care. These enhancements include special education, MHIT, professional development, state aid, and mentor teacher program, state foundation aid adjustment, parallel test virtual assessments, and the Child Care Accelerator Grant. The Senate deleted the funding. The House did not consider deleting the funding. Uh, item three is add language directing the agency to contract with any mental health providers for the MHIT pilot program and prohibiting contracting exclusive, exclusively with CMHCs. The Senate added the language. Uh, the House did not. Add language requiring school district to use all professional development state aid in service. Training on literacy and on science reading for 25. Senate add the language the House did not. Moving to 26, delete 4.3 billion SGF to remove the KSD budget from 2802. Insert into a sub for SB 387. The House removed the budget, Senate did not. And then delete uh, 149.8 million, including 247.9 million SGF to remove and review. Add on to miss any and all enhancement requests for the K-12 education budget, just as seen above. The Senate deleted the funding, the House did not. Moving to Emporia State University, item one. Uh, as uh, we go through the list of the universities, we talked about the moves previously for the items that were moved, and we're not gonna just repeat them all so you won't see these twice as we go through the process. Emporia State University, one, delete language authorizing up to 15 million in bonding authority for a Department of Nursing and Student Wellness Center. House deleted the language, the Senate did not. 25, delete 2 million SGF and regents institutions as the chief executive officers for each institution certified at the State Finance Council. Each institution did not engage in any diversity, equity, and inclusion activities for 25. Uh, the Senate deleted the funding, the House did not. Two, delete language authorizing up to 15 million in bonding authority for Department of Nursing and Student Wellness Center in 25. The House deleted the language. The Senate did not. Add $9 million to the Emporia State Investment Model. The House added the funding. The Senate did not. Add $3 million SGF to the Regional Stabilization Fund to the University Operating Account for 25. The House added the funding. The Senate did not. Go to Fort Hayes State, 25. Delete $2 million SGF from Regents Institutions to the Chief Executive Officer of each institution. Certified by the State Finance Council that the institution did not engage in the DIA activities that were prescribed by the bill. Uh, uh, the Senate deleted the funding. The House did not. Add $3 million SGF for the Regional Stabilization Fund to the Fort Hayes State University Operating account, uh, account for 25. The House added the funding. The Senate did not. Going to Kent State University, 
One, delete 6.4 million SGF from each institution as the chief executive officer of each institution certifies to the State Finance Council the institution did not engage in the DI activities that were prohibited by the bill. Senate deleted the funding. House did not. Add $4 million SGF for the Central Immersive Training Hub at K-State Salina. Senate added the funding. House did not. Add $3.1 million SGF for the Dairy Facility Debt Service for K-State. Uh, KSU for 25, the Senate deleted the funding, House did not, and add language for KSU bonding authority of up to of $40 million, all from special revenue funds for capital improvements for the dairy facility at the Manhattan campus for 25, and that's Senate added the language, House did not. On page five, Kansas State University Extension Systems, fiscal year 25. The Senate recommends deleting 3.0 million SGF from Regents institutions until the CEO for each institution certified to the State Finance Council that the institution did not engage in any DEI activities for fiscal year 25. The House did not consider deleting the funding. KSU Veterinary Medical Center, the Senate deleted, uh, recommend deleting 8,066 8, 866,000 SGF from Regents institutions until the chief executive officers for each institution certify that the State Finance Council that the institution did not engage in any DEI activities for fiscal year 25. The House did not consider deleting the funding. Pittsburgh State University, the Senate deleted 2.3 million SGF from Regents institutions until the CEO officers for each institution certified to the State Finance Council that the institution did not engage in any DEI activities for fiscal year 25. Again, the House did not consider deleting the funding. The House added 3.0 million SGF for the Regional Stabilization Fund, the PSU operating account for fiscal year 25. The Senate did not recommend adding the funding. Uh, Kansas School for the Blind for fiscal year 25. The Senate added 300,000 SGF in one-time funding for startup costs for an early childhood program in Wyandotte County for fiscal year 25 and added language requiring the agency to submit a report by January 31st to the Senate Committee on Education, House Committee on K-12 Budget in detailing the potential to transition the program to self-sufficient funding. The House did not consider adding the funding or the language. The House deleted 120,000 SGF and one FTE position for cybersecurity in fiscal year 25, and we'll review this at Omnibus. The Senate did not, recommend, did not consider deleting the funding or the FTE position. For Kansas School for the Deaf fiscal year 25, the House deleted $120,000 SGF and one FTE position for cybersecurity for fiscal year 25. The Senate did not consider deleting the funding or the FTE position. State Library fiscal year 25, the House, uh, the House deleted 1.9 million SGF for an increase in the per capita formula for state grants and aid to libraries for fiscal year 25. The Senate deleted 1.6 million SGF to partially, partially implement the increase, leaving 1.3 million, which is an overall change from 0.28, 28 cents to 30 cents per capita for fiscal year 25. The House deleted 1.5 million SGF for a new base amount for state grants and aids in libraries for fiscal year 25. The Senate deleted 972,000 SGF to partially implement a new base amount. This leaves 486,000, which is a base amount of 1,000 per local library. For the University of Kansas, fiscal year 25, the Senate deleted 8.4 million SGF from the region's institutions until the CEO for each institution certifies that the institution did not engage in any DEI activities for fiscal year 25. The House did not consider deleting the funding. The Senate added language directing the Kansas Geological Survey to spend not less than 100,000 for seismic, seismic surveys for fiscal year 25. The House did not consider adding the language. Continuing on to page six, item number three, the House added 20 million, all from federal ARPA funds to the Kansas Law Enforcement Training Center for fiscal year 25. The Senate did not consider adding the funding. For University of Kansas Medical Center in fiscal year 25, number one, the Senate deleted 5.9 million SGF from regents institutions until the chief, financial op chief executive officers for each institution certified to the State Finance Council that the institution did not engage in any DI activities for fiscal year 25. The uh, House did not consider deleting the funding. Um, number two, the House uh, added $750,000 SGF to the 
for the family residency programs, which include Smoky Hill Family Residency, Ascension Via Christi, and the Wesley Family Res uh, Medicine Residency programs for fiscal year 25. The Senate did not consider adding the funding. Number three, the House added language directing the University of Kansas School of Medicine, Wichita, to expend $750,000 to support the Smoky Hills Wesley Family and Ascension Via Christi Family Medicine, Medicine Residency programs for fiscal year 25. The Senate did not consider adding the language. For Wichita State University in fiscal year 25, number one, the Senate uh, recommended deleting 4.9 million SGF from Regents institutions for the um, uh, DEI certification. Um, this is the same language as in uh, with the other universities. The House did not consider deleting the fundings. Number two, the House added 5 million SGF for the aviation research in fiscal year 25. The Senate did not consider adding the funding. Moving on to the general government and fund general government function of government, um, the Office of the Attorney General in fiscal year 24. Number one, the House added $47,000 all from the Kansas Fights Addiction Fund for the Kansas City Full Circle Program to provide drug abuse prevention services to use in fiscal year 24. The Senate did not consider adding the funding. Number two, the House deleted $56,954 of SGF and one FTE position for an accounting specialist in fiscal year 24. The Senate did not recommend deleting the funding or the FTE position. Number three, the House recommended deleting $83,066 all from federal funds and one FTE position for an epidemiologist for the Child Death Review Board in fiscal year 24 if HB 2629 or similar legislation is passed by the, 20, uh, by the 24 legislature. Uh, the Senate did not recommend deleting the funding or the position. For fiscal year 25, the House added $300,000 of SGF for a drug abuse resistance education program for fiscal year 25. The House also recommended adding language to lapses funding if HB 2613 or similar legislation is passed during the 24th session. The Senate did not consider adding the funding or the language. Number two, the House added $185,000, all from the Kansas Fights Addiction Fund for the Kansas City Full Circle Program. Um, this is the same item as in fiscal year 24. The um, uh, House recommended adding the funding. The Senate did not consider adding the funding. Um, number three, both House and Senate recommended adding funding and FTE positions for the Civil Division for fiscal year 25. The House recommended adding 98,709 uh, SGF dollars for a special agent in charge in the licensing and inspection unit and repurpose an existing FTE position for this purpose. The Senate recommended adding $173,000, including $112,000 of SGF and two <laughs> FTE positions for the special agent in charge position, as well as an investigator in the uh, Affirmation Civil Enforcement Unit. Item number four, the House recommended deleting $5 million all from the Kansas Fights Addiction Fund to make funding available for KDADS for substance abuse disorder treatment among uninsured individuals for fiscal year 25. The Senate did not consider deleting the funding. Number five, the House recommended deleting $2.5 million all from the Kansas Fights Addiction Fund to make funding available for KDADS to expand Valley Hope in Atchison for fiscal year 25. The Senate did not consider deleting the funding. Number six, the House recommended deleting one FTE position for the accounting specialist and to repurpose an existing position for fiscal year 25. The Senate did not consider deleting the position. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, before I go into the next one, uh, these documents were just posted to the KLRD website. So if you're following along from home, you should be able to go to our webpage and be able to see the documents there. Starting with item seven, uh, delete $87,952 all from federal funds and one FTE position for the epidemiolo epidemiologist for the child death review boards for 25 if HB 2629 or similar legislation is passed during the 24 legislative session, the House to leave the funding in the FTE. The Senate did not. Board of Barbering 24, add $325 from the Barbering Fee Fund for increases in rent and office space and escalator fees. House added the funding, Senate did not. Add $325 off from the Board of Barbering Fee Fund for increases in rent for office space and escalator fees for 25. The House added the funding, Senate did not. Board of Cosmetology. Delete $50,000 off from the Cosmetology Fee Fund for the Contractual Serv Audit Services for 25. House delete the funding, Senate did not. Delete $50,000 off from the Cosmetology Fee Fund and one FTE position for an IT specialist for 25. House delete the funding in the FTE, Senate did not. Board of Healing Arts 25, delete one FTE position for the, an administrative specialist in the licensing pro program for 25. House delete the funding, Senate did not. Add language requiring the agency to decrease all fees collected related to licensure applications or licensure renewal by 15% for 25. House added the language, Senate did not. Board of Tax Appeals, delete $250,000 SGF and add $250,000 from the filing fee fund for 24. The House adjusted the funding, Senate did not. Delete $100,000 and add $100,000 from the filing fee fund. House added, adjusted the funding, the Senate did not. Uh, D of A. 
Adopt GBA number one, item one, to add $20 million SGF to call and pay off the remaining balance of series 2016 H2024. These bonds refinance prior obligations for a variety of capital improvements projects. House adopted the GBA, Senate did not. Adopt GBA number one, item two, to add 4.7 million SGF to defease and pay off the remaining balance of series 2020 S in 2024. These bonds refinance prior obligations of the NBAF facility and renovations of the state house. House adopted the GBA, Senate did not. Adopt GBA number one, item three, to add $23 million SGF to negotiate and tender an offer to pay off debt obligations on series 2020K in 2024. These bonds transferred ownership of the Curtis State Office Building and the DCF Topeka Service Center. Adopt the GBA, House adopted the GBA, Senate did not. Uh, add language requiring the State Finance Council to approve expenditures for series 2020K and 2020S payments before funds are released. The House added the language, the Senate did not. Continuing the Department of Administration on page eight, the House added 500,000 SGF to provide additional security for Jewish centers of faith in fiscal year 24. Potential uses of this funding include, but are not limited to, expanding license plate reader cameras, installing bullet resistant film on windows, and setting up limestone blocks for anti vehicle perimeter control. The Senate did not recommend or did not consider adding the funding. The House transferred 155,000 for SGF. Um, to the Cafeteria Benefits Fund to, in fiscal year 24 to prohibit, prohibit cost-sharing requirements for diagnostic and supplementary breast examinations for state employees. The Senate did not consider transferring the funding. The House added language authorizing the receipt of gifts, grants, bequests, and donations to the Friends of Cedar Crest Endowment Fund and allowing for the use of endowment funds in fiscal year 24. The Senate did not consider adding the language. The Senate deleted language increasing the SGF expenditure limitation on official hospitality for the Office of Sec Secretary of Administration and the Public Office of Public Advocates in fiscal year 24. The House did not recommend deleting the language. For fiscal year 25 Department of Administration, the Senate added 4 million SGF to partially refund the remaining balance of series 2020S bonds for fiscal year 25. These bonds refinance prior obligations to the National Bio and Agro Defense Facility and renovations to the Kansas State House. The House did not recommend adding the funding. The House added language authorizing the receipt of gifts, grants, and bequests and donations to the Friend of Cedar, Cedar Crest and allow for the use of endowment funds. The agency would be required to authorize these funds before use and to submit a report on its findings to the House Committee of Appropriations and Senate Committee on Ways and Means. The Senate did not consider adding the language. The House added language authorizing the Governor's Residence Advisory Commission to expend funds from existing resources to explore the possibility of renovating Cedar Crest for fiscal year 25. Additionally, adding language, increasing membership of the commission to include the first vice president of the Friends of Cedar Crest Association. The Senate did not consider adding the language. The Senate deleted 3.2 million, including a reduction of 4.2 million SGF, and in addition of 1.1 million from federal ARPA funds to not pay off the remaining balance of the master lease purchase agreement. The House did not recommend deleting the funding. The House deleted 639,000 SGF and five FTE positions to not adopt the agency request to add five new policy analyst positions within the Division of Budget. The Senate did not consider deleting the funding or the FTE positions. The Senate deleted language increasing the SGF expenditure limitation on official hospitality for the Office of the Secretary of Administration and the Office of Public Advocates. The House did not consider deleting the language. For a Department of Commerce for fiscal year 25, Number one, the Senate added 38.4 million SGF to continue the development of maintenance, repair, and overhaul of airplanes at the airports in Salina and Topeka. The House did not consider adding the funding. The Senate deleted 20 million SGF and added 10 million SGF, all from ARPA funds for the 2026 World Cup Games for fiscal year 25. They also added language requiring the FIFA World Cup Kansas City Committee to provide an accounting report of all expenditures with an economic and fiscal impact report. The Senate added 8 million SGF for the 2026 World Cup Games for fiscal year 25 and added language to lapse SGF if special revenue funds and or federal ARPA funds are available. The House added 16.9 million all for special revenue funds for housing and retail development in Northwest Kansas for fiscal year 25. This funding will be provided by a 20 million transfer from the Rural Housing Revolving Loan Program Fund in the Kansas Housing Resources Corporation. The Senate did not consider adding the funding. 
The Senate added $10 million, all from the State Highway Fund, for the Kansas Air Service Development Incentive Program for grants to primary airports, and added language directing the Department of Commerce to form a selection committee to evaluate such applications, and limiting a single commercial service airport to be awarded no more than $2 million. Further um, language was added requiring that all grant monies to be deposited in an interest-bearing escrow account and a minimum revenue guarantee agreement be ex executed and describe the thresholds that must be met for further grant monies. The House did not consider adding the funding or the language. Moving on to page 9, item 5. Um, the House recommended adding $4 million, all from federal ARPA funds, to provide small municipalities currently being served by natural gas gathering fields to design, construct, and install natural gas distribution lines to connect a natural gas service provider for fiscal year 25. Um, as part of this recommendation, the House also recommended adding language directing the Department of Commerce to establish an application program that includes the completion of a natural gas cost service and revenue rate requirements study and additional program requirements. The Senate did not consider adding the funding or the language. Number six, the Senate recommends transferring $2 million all from the Attracting Professional Sports to Kansas Fund and add $2 million all from the existing horse, uh, horse racing facility remodel fund for grant to remodel existing horse racing facility in a Kansas County with a population between 6,000 and 6,100 as of the 2020 census for fiscal year 25. The House did not recommend transferring or adding the funding. Item number seven, the House recommended adding $500,000 of the SGF in one-time funding and add language for a pilot program to recruit new home-based child care providers for fiscal year 25. The Senate did not consider adding the funding or the language. Item number eight, the Senate recommends transferring $200,000 all from the Attracting Professional Sports to Kansas Fund and add $200,000 all from the Kansas Sports Hall of Fame Support Fund for fiscal year 25, as well as language uh, requiring a fundraising progress report to be submitted to the Kansas Committee on Ways and Means, uh, excuse me, the Senate Committee on Ways and Means and the House Committee on Appropriations by January 31st, 2025. The House did not consider transferring or adding the funding or adding the language. Item number nine, the Senate recommends adding $200,000 from the EDIF for public broadcasting in fiscal year 25. The House did not consider adding the funding. Item number 10, the House recommends adding $150,000 from the attract Attracting Professional Sports to Kansas Fund and add language to provide supporting uh, support for hosting the U.S. Adaptive Open Golf Championship for fiscal year 25. The Senate did not consider adding the funding or the language. Item number 11, the Senate recommends deleting $500,000 from the SGF for higher paths for fiscal year 25 to make funding available for Kansas State Department of Education for this purpose. The House did not consider deleting the funding. For fiscal year 26, the House recommends adding $18 million, all from federal ARPA funds, for the 2026 World Cup Games for fiscal year 26. Um, the House also recommended adding language directing the director of the budget to transfer any available non-SGF monies to the World Cup ARPA fund and lapse any unused federal ARPA funding. Further, the House recommends adding language requiring the FIFA World uh, Cup Kansas City Committee to provide an accounting report of all expenditures with an economic and fiscal impact uh, to the legislature. The uh, House recommended adding the funding and language. The Senate did not consider adding the funding or the language. Number two, the Senate recommends transferring $200,000 from the Attracting Professional Sports to Kansas Fund and adding $200,000, all from the Kansas Sports Hall of Fame Support Fund for fiscal year 26. The uh, House did not consider transferring the funds or adding the funding. For the Department of Renf Department of Revenue in fiscal year 24, item number one, the House recommends deleting 10 FTE positions for fiscal year 24. The Senate did not consider deleting the FTE positions. For fiscal year 25, number one, the Senate recommends deleting 1.2 million, all from the Taxpayer Notification Cost Fund, and delete the SGF transfer from the uh, to the fund due to sunsetting provisions in KSA 792989 regarding reimbursements for counties with printing and postage costs for fiscal year 25. The House did not recommend deleting the funding or the transfer. Item number two, the House recommends deleting 10 FT positions for fiscal year 25. The Senate did not consider deleting those positions. Moving on to the judicial branch, item number one, both House and Senate recommended adding funding for expenditures related to a security incident incident in fiscal year 24. The House recommends adding $2.4 million, all from the SGF. The Senate recommends adding $2.6 million, all from the SGF. Number two, the House recommends adding $1 million from the SGF to provide one year of credit monitoring services for individuals impacted by the security incident in fiscal year 24. Any unspent funds would lapse back to the SGF. The House recommended adding the funding. The Senate did not consider adding the funding. For fiscal year 25, number one, the House recommends adding $1.1 million from the SGF for expenditures related to the security incident for fiscal year 25. The Senate did not consider adding the funding. We're halfway done. Item two, uh, delete four and a half million SGF and 40 FTE positions for support staffing and equipment for 25. House, leave the funding in the FTE positions, Senate did not. 
Delete two hundred fifty thousand dollars SGF professional consulting services for twenty five. House deleted the funding, Senate did not. Delete eighty thousand dollars SGF regional training programs for twenty five. Delete the uh, House and deleted the funding, the Senate did not. Kansas Corporation Commission. Add one point five million dollars SGF or hardener for natural gas distribution for twenty five. Uh, there's a corresponding item in commerce in 25 on item 5. The Senate added the funding, the House did not. Add language requiring the agency to disclose each entity receiving a discount from tariffed rates as authorized by statute for 25. The Senate added language, the House did not. Dental board. One, add language to reduce the statutory fee limit for the biennial dentist license renewal fee from $325 to $300. Reduce the biennial hygienist license renewal fee from $160 and reduce the mobile operations registration fee from $500 to $424. House added the language, Senate did not. And the same item for 25, House added the language, Senate did not. Kansas Housing Resource Co Corporation added language allowing non not-for-profit organizations focused on housing development to receive funds for such developments in 24. Add language requiring the interest rate for a loan to uh, any not-for-profit organizations focused on, on housing development to be equal for the average interest rate of certificates of deposit in Kansas financial institutions in June 2024 as determined by the state treasurer. The House added the language the Senate did not. Then we have the same item for 25, moving to the Kansas Racing Gaming Commission. Delete $920,873 off from special revenue funds and 13 FD positions for the regulation of historical horse racing machines at a paramutual facility in Central County in 24. House delete the funding of the FD positions. The Senate did not. Delete $865,637 off from special revenue funds and seven FTE positions for the regulation of historical horse racing machines at a permutual facility in Central County for 25. House to leave the funding in the FTE positions. The Senate did not. On page 11, Legislative Coordinating Council for fiscal year 24, the Senate deleted transfers, uh, 41 million in trans from transfers in part from the Legislative Employment Security Fund to the University of Kansas and Wichita State University Health Collaboration Fund, split evenly between the two agencies. The Senate deleted 30 million from the transfers. The Senate transferred 30 million from the legislature, legislature Employment Security Fund to SGF. The House did not recommend transferring the funding. The House transferred $20 million in fiscal year 25 from the Legislature Employment Security Fund to the University of Kansas Law Enforcement Training Center for Capital Improvements and Restoration. The Senate did not consider transferring the funding. The House transferred $4 million from the Legislative Employment Security Fund to the Department of Commerce to ensure access to natural gas supplies in rural communities. The Senate did not recommend transferring the funding. The House transferred $10 million from the Legislature Employment Security Fund to the Department of Commerce for the 2026 World Cup. The Senate did not recommend transferring the funding. The House added um, funding that both chambers added 49,893 SGF for a joint House and Senate two-day bus tour in fiscal year 25. The House added the funding to the legislature for a tour, and the Senate added the funding to the Legislative Coordinating Council for a tour to state mental health hospitals. Then the legislature for fiscal year 24, the House added language that expenditures shall be made to pay for the actual mileage of Kansas legislative interns traveling to the state capitol up to the required 12 days of attendance. The Senate did not consider adding the language. The House added 1 million SGF and language for constituent relationship management software. The Senate did not consider adding the funding or the language. Uh, fiscal year 2025 for the leg legislature. The Senate added language directing that adjustments to the rate of compensation for legislators recommended by the Legislative Compensation Commission shall be implemented without adoption of a concurrent re resolution for fiscal year 2025. The House did not consider adding the language. The House added language to allow the DeSoto School District to sell Countryside Learning Center and retain the proceeds for fiscal year 25. The Senate did not consider adding the language. The House added language that expenditures shall be made to pay for the actual mileage of legislative interns. Same language as in fiscal year 24. The Senate did not consider adding the language. The House added language to procure constituent relationship management software in fiscal year 25, and the Senate did not consider adding the language. In fiscal year 26, the Senate added language directing the adjustments to the rate of compensation for legislators recommended by the Legislative Compensation Commission shall not be adopted without, the adoption, without adoption of a concurrent resolution for fiscal year 26. The House did not consider adding the language. 
For the pooled money investment board for fiscal year 25, the House added language requiring 50% of the budget stabilization fund to be invested for 12 months if the state has 7.5% inning balance for fiscal year 25. The Senate did not consider adding the language. Moving on to page 12, the Secretary of State, fiscal year 25, number one. The House recommended deleting $9,000, all from the Information and Services Fee Fund, as well as deleting one FTE position to not hire an elections data analyst for fiscal year 25. The Senate did not consider deleting the funding or the FTE position. For the State Bank Commissioner, number one, fiscal year 24, fiscal year 24 the Senate recommends adding $12,000 uh, $12,000 all from the bank commissioner fee fund, as well as language to increase the per diem compensation for members of the state banking board for fiscal year 24. Um, fiscal year 25, item one, the Senate recommends the same, um, adding $12,000 to increase the per diem uh, compensation for members of the banking board. For the state treasurer, fiscal year 24, item one, the Senate recommends adding language to amend the bill Kansas matching grant program in fiscal year 24 to allow the state treasurer to award funds to communities which have been notified that such communities grant application does not qualify for federal funds under the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act after local communities have been notified by the coordinating agency and advises and consults with the Build Kansas Advisory Committee. The current statutory provisions regarding geographical distributions of grants shall apply to grants per approved by this provision. The Senate recommends adding the language the House does not. For fiscal year 25, number one, the House recommends deleting three million, all from the Star Bonds Food Sales Tax Replacement Fund and reduce the transfer by three million for fiscal year 25. Number two, uh, the Senate recommends adding that same language for the Build Kansas Matching Grant Program in fiscal year 25. The House does not recommend adding the funding. Uh, for fiscal year 26, number one, it's the same build uh, Kansas language. The Senate recommends adding the language. The House does not. I have number two, the Senate recommends adding language to, su to suspend the local ad valorem tax reduction transfer for fiscal year 26. The House does not recommend adding the language. Fiscal year 27, number one, um, the Senate recommends the same build Kansas matching grant program language. The House does not recommend adding that language. Number two, the Senate recommends adding language to suspend the LAVTR uh, transfer for fiscal year 27. The House does not recommend adding that language. Go to 28. We have the Bill Kansas matching grant uh, language for 28 once again, and we have the LAVTR transfer suspension uh, uh, again. Uh, the Senate added the language in both those cases. Moving to highways and other transportation. So, Kansas Department of Transportation for 25, add $5 million from the Passenger Rail Service Revolving Fund and transfer the same amount from the State Highway Fund to support an intercity rail service such as the Amtrak Heartland Flyer for 2025. Add language allowing the agency to administer gifts and loans from, from, from the fund for qualifying projects and operating support for Amtrak or other passenger rail carriers. The Senate added the funding and the language. The House did not. Add language authoring existing expenditures of up to $6 million from the State Highway Fund for the Economic Development Program for Aid to Local Governments to Upgrade County Roads Impacted by the New Hillmore Dairy Facility in Southwest Kansas for 25. The House added the language, the Senate did not. Add language limiting a transfer of $5 million from the State Highway Fund to the Public Use General Aviation Airport Development Fund for the Kansas Airport Improvement Program for 25. If SB 272 or other similar legislation is passed by the 24 legislature, the House added the language, the Senate did not. Going to Human Services. Department of Children and Families, 25. Add 1.3 million SGF for vocational rehabilitation centers for independent living for 25. The Senate added funding, the House did not. Add $350,000 SGF in one-time funding for youth core ministries to provide the core community program for 25. The House added the funding, the Senate did not. Add $250,000 SGF in one-time funding for keys for networking to provide iGrab for 25. And then add language requiring keys for networking to submit a status report to the Senate Ways and Means Subcommittee on Human Services and the House Committee on Social Services budget prior to January 31st, 2025, detailing the program's use among Kansas foster care children. The House out of the fund and the Senate did not. Delete $15 million SGF for child care sustainability and workforce grants. The House deleted the funding, the Senate did not. Department of Health and Environment Health, item one, add funding to increase Medicaid outpatient hospital reimbursement rates for 25. The House added 45.2 million, including 17.9 million in the SGF to increase the rates by 30%. The Senate added 78.7 .7 million, including 30 million SGF to increase rates a different amount. Item two is add funding to increase physician provider codes for 25. House added 33.9 million, including 13.6 million in SGF to increase those physician provider codes that are currently below 79.5% of the Medicare rate or have no equivalent Medicare rate by 15%. The Senate added 25.7 million, including 10.3 million SGF to increase physician provider codes by 8%. 
Item three, add $4.8 million, including $1.9 million in SGF, to extend Medicaid coverage for dental exams, x-rays, and cleanings for 25. The House did not recommend adding the funding. The Senate did add the funding. On page 14, continuing KDHE Health, the Senate recommended adding $4.2 million, including $1.7 million SGF, to increase Medicaid reimbursement rates for pediatric primary care services by 10% for fiscal year 25. The House did not recommend adding the funding. The House added $3.8 million, including $1.5 million SGF, to increase the Medicaid reimbursement rate for applied behavioral analysis to $65 per hour. The Senate did not consider adding the funding. The House added $2.5 million, including $1.5 1 million SGF to increase the Medicaid rates for OBGYN codes by 15%. The Senate did not consider adding the funding. The House added 2 million SGF as one-time funding to reimburse hospitals that are operating as rural emergency hospitals without the designation of such. For fiscal year 25, the Senate did not recommend adding that funding. The House added 2.5 million SGF for blood testing in communities exposed to environmental contaminants for fiscal year 25. The Senate did not recommend the funding. The House added $2 million um, all from the Children's Initiatives Fund for early intervention services provided through the Infant and Toddler Program, or Tiny K. The Senate recommended adding $2 million SGF. The Senate added $10 million SGF in one-time expenditures to support hospitals in providing adult inpatient behavioral health services in Kansas for fiscal year 25, and adding language specifying that the funds be distributed between Advent Health Shawnee, Ascension Via Christi, St. Joe Campus, Hutchinson Regional Medical Center, Salina Regional Medical Center, Stormont Vale Regional Medical Center, and the University of Kansas Health System based on the number of adult beds available in each facility. The House did not recommend adding the funding or the language. The Senate added 4,917 SGF for the Tobacco Use Prevention Program. The House did not consider adding the funding. The Senate added 5.0 5 million, uh, 5 million SGF for primary health projects for community-based primary care grants or safety net clinics. The House did not recommend adding the funding. The Senate added 600,000 SGF for a maternal fetal medicine program in, Kansas, in a Kansas county with a population of more than 600,000 as of the 2020 census. The House did not consider adding the funding. The Senate added language requiring federally qualified health centers to certify that patient sensitive information will not be used for any purpose other than direct medical, mental, or behavioral health services, transit services, or billing. In fiscal year 25, the House did not consider adding the language. The House added language requiring KDHE to study the required billing codes and costs of providing remote non-stress tests and ultrasounds to pregnant women through the Medicaid program for fiscal year 25. The Senate did not recommend adding the language. The House added language to increase the hospital provider assessment to no lower than 5% and no higher than 6% of each hospital's inpatient and outpatient net income. For fiscal year 2025, the Senate did not consider adding the language. For fiscal year 26, KDHE Health, the Senate added 157.4 million, including 60 million SGF to increase Medicaid outpatient hospital reimbursement rates. The House did not add funding for this in fiscal year 26. The Senate added language requiring federally qualified health centers to certify that patient sensitive information um, will not be used for any purpose. This is the same language that was in fiscal year 24, and the House did not consider adding this language. For the Kansas Department of Aging and Disability Services in fiscal year 24, the Senate added 2.5 million SGF to supplement federal grant funds for substance use disorder treatment for uninsured individuals in fiscal year 25, and added language requiring that the agency submit a report to the 2025 legislature on the distribution and usage of the funds. The House did not consider adding the funding or the language. The Senate added 2.5 million to provide grants to organizations utilizing 14C labor to increase wages in 14C settings in fiscal year 24 in, antici in anticipation of the federal government eliminating the 14C exception and added language to lapse the funding if the exception has not been eliminated by the effective date of the appropriations bill. The House did not consider adding the funding or the language. Moving on to page 15, uh, KDATS in 25, number one, um, 
Both chambers added 5 million SGF to provide grants to organizations utilizing 14C labor to increase wages in 14C settings for fiscal year 25 in anticipation for federal government eliminating the 14C exceptions. The House uh, recommended adding the funding. The Senate recommends adding the funding as well as further language to lapse the funding if exception has not been eliminated by July 1st of 2024. Number two, the House recommends adding 5.8 million, including 2.2 million of the SGF to add 250 individuals from the wait list to the physical disability waiver for fiscal year 25, as well as to add language to prohibit KDAS from carrying a wait list greater than 2,000 individuals for the HCBS physical disability waiver for fiscal year 25 and further requiring the agency to submit as part of its budget submission for fiscal year 26, an estimate of the additional cost to keep the wait list below 2,000 individuals for fiscal year 26. The Senate did not consider adding the funding or the language. Number three, the House recommends adding $17.3 million, including $6.7 million from the general fund, to add 250 individuals from the wait list to the IDD uh, waiver for fiscal year 25, as well as language to prohibit KDAS from carrying a wait list greater than 4,800 individuals for the HCBS Intellectual and Developmental Disability Waiver for fiscal year 25, as well as that language for the agency to submit as part of its budget request um, a report estimating the additional cost to keep the wait list below 4,800 individuals for fiscal year 26. The Senate does not consider adding the funding or the language. Number four, the House recommends adding $48.3 million, including $18.6 million from the SGF to increase the average reimbursement rate for agency-directed personnel care services on the frail elderly waiver to $30 per hour for fiscal year 25. The Senate did not consider adding the funding. Number five, the Senate recommends adding $50,000 from the general fund for increased operational support for the Self-Advocate Coalition for Kansas for fiscal year 25. The House did not consider adding the funding. Number six, the House recommends deleting $120,000 from the SGF and one FTE position for a state housing supports director for fiscal year 25. The Senate did not consider deleting the funding or the position. Number seven, the House recommends adding $5 million, all from the Kansas Fights Addiction Fund for the, uh, of the Office of the Attorney General to provide support from, to substance, abuse, uh, substance use disorder providers who provide services to indigent individuals for fiscal year 25. The Senate did not consider adding the funding. Number eight, the House recommends adding $2.5 million, all from the Kansas Fights Addiction Fund from the AG's office to expand infrastructure in Valley Hope in Atchison for fiscal year 25. The Senate did not consider adding the funding. Number nine, the Senate recommends adding language requiring the agency to submit a report to the 2025 legislature on the provision of non-Medicaid reimbursable services by community developmental, uh, developmental disability organizations for fiscal year 25. The House did not consider adding the language. Number 10, the Senate recommends adding uh, $26 million, including $10 million from the general fund to increase personal care services rates on the BIPD, TAA, SED, and IDD waivers for fiscal year 25. The House did not consider adding the funding. Number 11, the Senate recommends adding $5.4 million from the SGF to develop behavioral service, the behavioral health workforce programs at the University of Kansas School of Medicine in Wichita and Wichita State University for fiscal year 25. The House did not consider adding the funding. Number 12, both House and Senate recommended adding one-time funding for Ember Hope for aftercare services not covered by the standard PRTF rate for fiscal year 25. The House recommends adding $500,000 from the state general fund. The Senate recommends adding $250,000 also from the state general fund. Number 13, both House and Senate recommended adding funding to increase the specialized medical care rate for the IDD and TA waivers for fiscal year 25. The House recommends adding $5.2 million, including $2 million from the state general fund, to increase the rate from 47 per hour to 51 per hour. The Senate recommends adding $3.4 million, including $1.3 million from the general fund, to increase the rate from $47 per hour to $50 per hour. Number 14, both House and Senate recommend adding funding to increase the supported employment rate for the IDD waiver for fiscal year 25. The House recommends adding $10.2 million, including $3.9 million from the State General Fund to increase the rate from $20 per hour to $40 per hour, whereas the Senate recommends adding $14.6 million, including $5.6 million from the State General Fund to increase the supported employment rate from $28 per hour to $45 per hour. Number 15, both House and Senate recommend adding one-time funding for Mirror Incorporated for workforce development in fiscal year 25. The House recommends adding $2.4 million from the general fund, whereas the Senate recommends adding $1.8 million from the state general fund. Number 16, both House and Senate recommend adding one-time funding to supplement federal funding for substance abuse substance use disorder treatment for non-Medicaid eligible populations for fiscal year 25. The House recommends adding $5 million from the State General Fund, whereas the Senate recommends adding $2.5 million from the State General Fund, as well as language to require a report by the agency to the 2025 legislature on the distribution and usage of those funds. 
Item number 17, both House and Senate recommend adding funding to funding to increase rates on the BI, PD, autism, FE, and TA waivers to match the rates offered on the IDD waiver for fiscal year 2025. The House recommends adding $26 million, including $10 million from the Estate General Fund, whereas the Senate recommends adding half that amount, $13 million, as well as uh, including $5 million from the SGF. Number 18, both House and Senate uh, recommend adding language to increase the cap on lottery vending machine transfer for fiscal year 2025. The House recommends adding language to increase the transfer of $1 million per month for a total of $12, 12 million for fiscal year 25, whereas the Senate recommends adding the language to increase the cap on lottery vending machine revenue to $9 million for fiscal year 2025. Move it to page 16. Item 19. Add one-time funding to continue the Medicaid add-on to nursing facilities for 2025 based upon the number of Medicaid patients served. The House added $60.9 million, including $23.4 million SGF, to continue the Medicaid add-on payment at a rate of $20 per Medicaid day. The Senate added $30.1 million, including $11.7 million SGF, to continue the Medicaid add-on payment at a rate of $10 per Medicaid day. Item 20, add language directing the agency to study capacity issues of HCBS service pro services provided under the Frail Elderly Waiver for 25 and to make recommendations to the 25 legislature concerning the expansion of these services. The Senate added the language the House did not. Add language to prohibit the agency from making changes to the targeted case management program for individuals with IDD without express approval by the legislature for 25. The Senate added language house did not. Add language directing the agency to oversee re registration of supplemental nursing staff agencies for 25 and require such agencies to submit a quarterly report to KDADS on the rates changed by the charged by the agency's two facilities in Kansas. The Senate added the language house did not. Add language to convene a work group to study the opening of rehabilitation codes to other providers and types for 25 and to provide a report to the 25 legislature. Members of the work group could include KDATS, KDHE, the Association of CMHC, CMHCs, Kansas Health Institute, and the National Council on Mental Well-Being. The Senate add language the House did not. Add language 25, directing the agency to study and report information to the 25 legislature on involuntary discharges and transfers from state licensed adult care homes. The Senate added the language, the House added the language and added further language requiring the agency to establish a system to track data concerning involuntary discharges. For 26, add $4 million SGF to establish grant fund to provide $1 million per year for four years to non-CMHCs to begin the process to become certified CCBHCs for 26 and add language that not more than 50% of the grant should go to FQHCs or FQHC lookalikes. The Senate added the funding and the language the House did not. In 27, it's the same language for uh, CBHC, CCBHCs and FQHCs. HCs. The Senate added the funding, the House did not, and again, the same language in 28. The Senate added the funding and the language, the House did not. On Larned State Hospital, delete 9.9 .9 million SGF in contract nursing expenditures for 25. This reduced total funding to zero for this purpose. The House deleted all the funding for the contract nursing, the Senate did not. Delete 15.5 million SGF in contract nursing expenditures for 25. This reduced the total funding to zero for this purpose. The Senate, or the House deleted all the funding for contract nursing expenditures, the Senate did not. All right, public safety on page 17 for the adjutant general. The Senate recommended in fiscal year 2024 to add 15.7 million SGF for a Southwest border mission and added language directing that expenditures be made to respond to a request for assistance from the state of Texas pursuant to the emergency management compact and that the governor collaborate with the adjutant, adjutant general to activate, mobilize and deploy state resources to prevent drug and human trafficking and other crimes contributing to an emergency. In fiscal year 24, the House did not consider adding the funding or the language. The House deleted 22,715 SGF for hosting services involving websites for the Adjutant General's Department and the Kansas Division of Emergency Management. The Senate did not recommend deleting the funding. In fiscal year 25, the House added 50,000 SGF for shooting team grants for fiscal year 25. They added language directing the, link, the agency to make grants to the Kansas Air and Army National Guard shooting teams for ammunition, equipment, and travel to regional and national marksmanship competitions. The Senate did not consider adding the funding or the language. The House added 7,000 SGF to the Civil Air Patrol Program for cadet dues for fiscal year 25. The Senate did not consider adding the funding. The House deleted 22,715 SGF for hosting services involving websites for the Adjutant General's Department and the Kansas Division of Emergency Management. The Senate did not recommend deleting the funding. 
The Senate added language authorizing unspent SGF monies for a Southwest border mission to be to reappropriate from fiscal year 24 to 25. The House did not consider adding the language. For the Department of Corrections in fiscal year 24, the Senate added 75,000 SGF to a newly created Kansas Penitentiary Museum content development account in fiscal year 24. The House did not consider adding the funding. The Senate added 490,000 SGF to the newly created Lansing Future Prison Museum stabilization account. The House did not consider adding the funding. The Senate added a language to execute an agreement between the Kansas Department of Corrections and the Lansing Historical Society for administration and operation of the prison museum. The House did not consider adding the language. In fiscal year 25 for the Department of Corrections, the Senate added 2.5 million SGF to community corrections for additional intensive supervision officers and increased operating expenditures. The House did not consider adding the funding. The House added 1 million SGF for salary adjustments to parole officers 1, 2, and special agents for fiscal year 25. Adjustments ranged between 11 and 14 percent. The Senate did not consider adding the funding. The Senate added language authorizing in issuance of up to 377.6 million in bonds for a new Hutchison Correctional Facility for fiscal year 25. The House did not recommend adding the language. The Senate added language to execute an agreement between the Kansas Department of Corrections and the Lansing Historical Society for administration and operation of the prison museum for fiscal year 25. The House did not consider adding this language. For the Emergency Medical Services Board in fiscal year 25, the Senate added $220,924, all from the special revenue funds for a salary realignment plan to address recruiting and retention challenges for fiscal year 25. The House did not recommend adding the funding. Moving on to page 18, the Kansas Highway Patrol in fiscal year 24, item number one. The Senate recommends adding $10 million from the Kansas Highway Patrol Operating Fund and increasing the transfer from the Highway Fund by the same amount for the Central Dispatch Facility and Firing Range in fiscal year 2024. This adjustment provides a total of $20 million for this purpose in 24. Um, the uh, Senate also recommends adding language directing the agency to purchase up to 200 acres in Salina and construct a Central Dispatch Facility and an indoor-outdoor firing range for the purchased land. The House does not did not consider adding the funding or the language. For fiscal year 25, number one, the Senate recommends adding $7.8 million from the aircraft fund and increasing transfers from the state highway fund by that same amount to purchase and equip a Cessna caravan law enforcement airplane for fiscal year 25. The House did not consider adding the funding. Number two, the Senate recommends adding $10,000 uh, $10, SGF for a 2.5% salary increase for part-time Capitol Police officers for fiscal year 25. The House did not consider adding the funding. For the KBI in fiscal year 25, number one, the Senate recommends adding $1.1 million from the general fund and six FTE positions for a child protection initiative involving a Southeast Child Victim Task Force for fiscal year 25. The House did not recommend adding the funding or the FTE position. Number two, the Senate recommends adding $850,000 from the general fund and four FTE positions for a Kansas Criminal Justice Information System Support Center to address cybersecurity vulnerabilities among local agencies accessing the systems in fiscal year 25. The House did not recommend adding the funding or the positions. Moving on to the state, uh, the state fire marshal in fiscal year 25. Number one, the Senate recommends adding $300,000, all from the fire marshal fee fund, to replace radios with encrypted models in investigation and emergency response divisions in fiscal year 25. The House did not recommend adding the funding. Number two, the Senate recommends adding $220,000, all from the fire marshal fee fund, and two FTE uh, positions for inspectors uh, with equipment to conduct fire safety inspections on facilities such as child care centers for fiscal year 25. The House did not recommend adding the funding or the FTE positions. Number three, the House recommends deleting $100,000 from the state general fund and one FTE uh, for a child care inspection specialist to conduct outreach with child care providers concerning fire safety inspections for fiscal year 25. The House uh, deleted the funding FTE position. The Senate did not recommend deleting the funding or the FTE position. Number four, the House recommends deleting one FTE for an administrative specialist for the fire prevention division in fiscal year 25. The Senate did not recommend deleting the FTE position. Number five, the House recommends adjusting the funding source for a volunteer firefighter workforce study for fiscal year 25. The House recommends deleting $150,000 from the state general fund and adding the same amount from the fire marshal fee fund for the study, whereas the Senate does not, did not recommend adjusting the funding source. Um, under statewide adjustments for fiscal year 25, uh, number one, the House recommends adding language to tra suspend transfers from the state general fund to the budget stabilization fund for fiscal year 25. 
Fiscal Year 26, number one, the Senate recommends adding language requiring all state agencies and contractors with the state to enroll and actively participate in E-Verify for verification of employment eligibility for Fiscal Year 26. The House did not consider adding the language. Last page. Item one, add language requiring all state agencies and contractors with the state finance, uh, with the state to enroll and actively participate in the E-Verify for the verification of employment eligibility for 27. Uh, the Senate added language the House did not. Same language on the E-Verify for FY28. Then we have state employee pay. Uh, in 24, add funding to address the pay plan shortfall in 2023, SB 25 and 24. This does not represent a change from the $10.8 million, including $10.2 million SGF for the shortfall in the governor's recommendation in 24. The Senate added the funding, the House did not. Then we have pay plan shortfall language in 25. I'll note both the House and Senate have passed pay plan shortfall language. It's just not both in this bill. And on State Finance Council, there's add 35.7 million SGF and add language directing the funds to be distributed to the region's institutions after each executive officer certifies that the institution has eliminated DE requirements in the application, admissions, hiring, tenure review, promotion, and training process for any employment or, or any employee or volunteer position for FY25. The Senate added the, uh, added the funding and the language. The House did not. And there's add 14.1 million SGF and add language directing the funds to be distributed to the regional institutions after each executive officer certifies that the Kansas Comprehensive Grant has been distributed in the same proportions as fiscal year 2022 for fiscal year 2025. The House added the language, added the funding and the language. The Senate did not. And also this DI item links up with all the other DI items that you saw in the other portions of the comparison list. Thank you, Dylan. Does the House have any questions? I don't know if I have any questions. Um, uh, there is some um, clarifications that I may need to make in regards to uh, some of the items. Uh, first, on page eight, uh, under the Department of Commerce, item number three, it has in there that this funding will be provided by a $20 million transfer from the Rural Housing Revolving Loan Program, and that, that amount is incorrect. It was in our budget bill incorrect. It should be seven million two hundred and fifty thousand. So I just want to make sure that, that adjustment is being made. Uh, the other, uh, let me see. What what item was that number? You said page eight. What page number? eight under the Department of Commerce, item number three. Three. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I believe. We may have to change this language. Um, it'd be very similar to um, the floor amendment. We'll talk about those later too. Um, on page 11, uh, my vice chair and I were just conversing on item number two for fiscal year 2025. I think the intent in committee was to have that be from the KCC, not Department of Commerce. Uh, but he probably has more information uh, regarding that. Then on page 16, um, both items number one for Larnard State Hospital and Osawatomie State Hospital. When we had the discussion in committee that was supposed to be deleted and then reviewed at Omnibus because we've set up a subcommittee that is actually going to be meeting April 1st, is that right? They're going to be meeting April 1st to discuss contract nursing at our state hospitals. So it's supposed to be discussed at Omnibus when we return on April 25th. Dylan? I'll uh, just address that. Um, we don't always include omnibus lists because they're not in the bill, but it is on the omnibus list currently. All right, thank you. Um, and then also on page 17, um, it doesn't state it here, but under the Department of Corrections, fiscal year 2025, item number three, when we had the motion um, in committee, it was to actually have an interim committee set up, just so you're aware of that, and they would evaluate the Hutchison Correctional Facility. And then, and I know we have the same information in regards to the pay plan. We had just um, had forgotten to take it out of the budget bill. Um, so I know I've been working with Jill in regards to a, uh, a pay plan, um, trying to basically what we did last year and trying to bring those under market employees up to market as possibly we can, but still give a pay increase to all employees that work for the state of Kansas. Uh, but we've been working on that, and so we'll bring that uh, to you in the future. And then um, I just kind of wanted to make a note. You'll notice that all of the floor amendments that were uh, made at, on the House floor were um, actually supported 
by the maker of those amendments. Uh, same cannot be said for the Senate. So if there was a floor amendment that was added to the budget and the maker of the amendment did not support it, um, it'll be heavily evaluated. That's the only comments that I have. Thank, thank you. We, we appreciate that. And uh, I, I think there was probably uh, several on the Senate side that were not supported. Anyone else have any questions or comments? Seeing none. Uh, I don't know if we'll have an opportunity to, to meet on this again or not today, but uh, maybe a possibility tomorrow. Uh, Dylan, uh, did we figure out who makes the first uh, offer? Jill? Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. The rules do not say who makes the first offer. Precedent would have the Senate make the first offer because if, if we're in conference generally on a Senate bill, the House has made amendments to it, so the Senate would be replying to the House and vice versa. If the, it was a House bill and there were Senate amendments, the House would be replying. In this instance, when I think everybody thinks we're going to gut everything that's currently in Senate Bill 28 and put this in, the, that exact example is not relevant, but precedent would be the Senate response. Okay, so the Senate would have the first offer then. Uh, I think, uh, Mr. Chairman, if you, if you and I just keep in contact, we'll kind of see what the floor uh, work looks like, uh, you know, going forward, because I, I know you've got a lot of bills and we, we also do so, because uh, we'll have to figure out times where our subcommittee here can uh, go through and figure out an offer and then uh, present it to you. So probably won't be today, but uh, we'll, we'll see what what it looks like tomorrow. That's fine. Going we go back in at 2.15, and I believe you go back in at 2.30. Right, so and we, we, we've got a caucus again. We've got more bills to look at. So yeah, We do, too. So uh, we'll just wait for you to make an announcement since it'll be your offer first. Okay. Thank you. With that, we're adjourned.